Sean, your brother Sam said you're not a British boxer until you're 40 your call. You've done it your debut. You must be open to me. Honestly, I'm so ecstatic at the moment. I could, like, it's just surreal. Even the whole experience, the build up, the coming down here, doing all the weighing properly, like, it's just surreal. I couldn't believe it. Like, as a boxing fan all the way through, not just like jumping in and, and jumping in the gym, just keeping fit. I've always been a boxing fan. And for, for me, it's the heart of the mecca of English boxing. So to box on my debut, it's just unbelievable. When you came through those rings, were you immediately there, like, this was oh, the right yeah. decision? Honestly, it was incredible. I heard the noise of all the fans, you know, the Mason, not all rowdy. So, yeah, it was just incredible for me, honestly. It's a real, it's a real moment. How do you think the fight went for you? Um, did you, were there areas that you felt that you made little mistakes? Obviously, the nerves coming yeah, yeah, into yeah. effect? I think the nerves played a bit of big effect. And I know I caught him in a second. I watched, I cut him and I watched him wobble a bit. But some of them journeymen, uh, that can be very dangerous when they're hurt. I throw some mad looping shots. I thought, I'll take my time. If I'm going to get him, I'm going to get him. Um, I, knew, I knew he beat Ali Ben quite comfortably, so watching that, I knew he, was, he could like, have a little bit of a go, but, and he was gonna, but I knew he was going to run at the same time, but I didn't want to run into anything silly, so I just kept my composure, and I knew if, if a couple more rounds I might have got him, but he's a very tough man, credit to him. When he was dancing around the end, you know, giving you the arms and oh, that, what were you thinking? I couldn't take him seriously, mate, <laughs> like, but, like, honestly, I'm, I'm a mess, I mess around at the best of times, and even now, I'm taking it all seriously, he starts beating his chest, I think. Okay, he's just trying, what he's trying to do, he's trying to draw me on. Like, I'm not silly, so I didn't play his games. Do you think that was almost then the perfect introduction to professional game oh, for you? 100%. You don't get much tougher journey even in him. I think out of like, all his 60 fights, only two people have stopped him, and that was like, really early on, his, early on in his career. So, yeah, it was a very, very, good, very good learning fight for me, the first one especially. Um, yeah, can't wait to go again. Now that you have this under your belt, is it like, I want to do this I want again? To again? I want to get out again as soon as possible. And then hopefully, because we always have the break in August, apparently, and just get away with my family and enjoy some time. But we've been in the gym from, as soon as I, as soon as I finished the Miami today in December, I've been in the gym ticking over and waiting for this moment. And now it's here. I want to go again, but also I've got to spend some time with my family as well. On the undercard of this fight as well, there was the Franken family. Do you want to see the Noakes family coming oh, both for no, you? Yeah. Well, yeah, eventually, eventually. They won't, they won't do it just yet because we sell a lot of tickets. And, they, and we'll, obviously, we'll hang around together with the same, same sort of friendship group. So. I don't think they'll have it too early, hopefully soon enough. When it, I'd, I'd like to see when he, when he fights Chamberlain, I'd like to be on the same bill as that. Hopefully have it somewhere nice local home, maybe Maystone. Absolutely sell out the Gallagher Stadium or something. Well, we can't wait to see you out and hopefully have your brother one day on the same card. Congratulations for getting your win. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you.